Hello Mrs Lloyd, how are you? Sophie's done really well today, she's such a brave girl. At the moment she's just snoozing comfortably in her kennel. Um, she's had some pain relief so she's not in any pain at the moment. She's just sleeping off the anaesthetic. Uh, now the vet has prescribed you some more pain relief for her to go home on. Um, and she's to have that over the next four days. She'll need them twice a day starting from tomorrow. And just make sure that when you store them that they're out of reach of any other kids that you've got or any other animals. Um, and also out of direct sunlight of course, just like any medication. Um, and it's best if she has the pills at the same time each day, um, about 12 hours apart if possible because she needs them twice a day. And that'll just keep the pain relief topped up in her system so she doesn't get uncomfortable. Now you should just be able to put them into a piece of dog roll or something similar um, and she'll just gobble it down being a lab um, and she won't even realise she's had it. But would you like me to demonstrate how to give a tablet to a dog just in case she doesn't eat it through the food? Yep, okay cool. So I've just got this toy here. So you just grab it on the top here just behind the canines. Now if you need your husband to act as a stopper at the back there that's fine as well. Sometimes it does take two when you're just learning. Um, so just grab it up the top there behind the canines and you want to pull the head right back just making sure that you're not you know you're not bending the neck backwards you just want to extend it up so that the throat's all extended and then you use your other hand just to tip the mouth open and you'll be surprised at how easily that happens. And then pop the pill in as far back as you can and she should just swallow it down. Okay? Cool. Now if she vomits or gets diarrhea at all, just give us a call before you give her any more of the medication. Because that sometimes is a side effect. Not very often though, so I wouldn't expect it to happen with Sophie. Um, so she's still a wee bit drowsy at the moment and that can continue for about 24 hours, sometimes up to 48 hours, um, just from the sedative that she was given. So to be on the safe side, we advise you to keep her warm and indoors uh, for the next two days. That's because, as I said, she's had the sedative and that's had an effect on her nervous system and it means that she is unable to keep herself warm at the moment so that's why we have them in heated kennels but you know you can just pop a wheat sack or something in with her and a few extra blankets uh, and it also would help keeping her indoors so that she doesn't you know there's less chance of infection and less chance of her pulling her stitches out because she's quite an energetic little thing she does have a couple of bandages on at the moment, so don't be scared by them. Um, the one on her leg, that's pretty similar to a band-aid that we would get if we got given an injection. Um, and you can just take that one off tonight, you know, either unwind the tape or just snip it down her leg there. Just be careful, really careful that you're not cutting her leg. And yeah, so that one's fine to come off tonight and you don't need to worry about doing anything else to that one. Um, the second one is covering her wound site and you'll need to check that tonight just to make sure that there's no fluids or any blood or anything flowing out of there. There shouldn't be but it's good to check just to be sure. And after, so you take the bandage off tomorrow, um, just in the morning would be fine. And after the bandage is taken off, you'll need to check her wound and stitches daily for any changes, any pulling, if the stitches look like they're, inf you know, causing inflammation on her skin or anything like that. Just give us a call straight away and we can check on her. You can bring her in and we can just give them a quick check for you. Uh, okay, so she'll need to be kept quiet for the next three to four days just because... She's had a surgery, it's a, you know, major surgery really, so yeah, keep her quiet so that she's got time to heal properly. So no big walks, no playing fetch, no playing with other kids or animals. Um, just give her time to rest and heal up. And 
it'd probably be a good idea to give her an extra blanket or two to sleep in so that there's not too much pressure on the wound site so it keeps her nice and comfortable at night. Uh, right, I think that's about all that I need to tell you about today. Um, in case you didn't get all of that, I've got it all printed up on a sheet here for you anyway. So there you go, you can take that home with you and it's got all the instructions for the medication, all of it, all her diet. Um, just make sure that you're feeding her just small meals for a starter. Still the same food, you don't want to change that on her and give her a stomach ache, but just smaller meals because after surgery, you know, it's difficult to digest. Uh, are there any questions before I go and get Sophie? No? Okay, great. I'll go grab her for you now.